Hi, it's Dale here. Welcome to a very quick video just to show you how to correctly and safely install your MT32 Pi Zero PCB into the 3D printed case. Now, if you've purchased the PCB kit with the 3D printed case at the same time from my shop, then you don't need to worry about any of this because I will ship it to you with the PCB pre-installed into the case. However, if you're 3D printing your own case, this is the video for you. So here's the PCB. And what you'll notice is that there's this surface mounted wheel here, which is one of the key highlights of this board. It's a really nice uh, click wheel. It has this, uh, this button functionality that you can see there. And it's a surface mount device, which means it's only attached on the top of the PCB. There's these four points that you can see there. Those are the signals. And there's two anchor points, one on this side and one on the other side. You can just kind of see that shiny bit there. Now, it is fairly secure under normal use, and it also has these two pegs here that stop it from moving backwards and forwards. But if you do apply any force in the upwards direction, um, it is possible to rip this wheel off the board. So be very careful when you're installing and removing this board from the case, because I don't have many of these boards to give out to people who damage them. They're in very limited supply, so I do ask you guys, you've got to be really careful when doing this, okay? If you follow these instructions, you should be fine. So, that said, here's the case, and it comes in two halves. There's this top half here and the bottom half here for the Pi. They go together like that. And the Pi side has these ports for the um, micro USBs and the HDMI and some air vents. So you can put that to one side. And the top part here has the three and a half millimeter jacks for audio and MIDI and this wheel slot there and the power switch. So this is what we're going to work on. Uh, so turn it over, turn it so that you've got the three and a half millimeter jacks and the wheel slot on the right and do the same with the PCB. So we're going to start in this position. And what we're going to do is focus on this bottom edge here. We're going to get this switch, this power switch here into the slot down here. So let's start with that. So take your case, take the PCB and put it in at an angle like this. And what you're going to do is you'll notice that the three and a half millimeter jacks don't clear the wall of the case. That's okay. Just angle it like this and pull the case apart very slightly to allow the jacks to start slipping behind the wall of the case. These cases are quite tough. They're made of PLA. Um, and they can take some punishment. So don't be afraid to bend the case. Like the case is replaceable. Like we're gonna bend the case and we're not gonna damage the PCB. So do this and you'll start to see this is coming behind the wall of the case. And if you take it like this and pull it apart from the back, the PCB should start to slot in like that. There you go. So what we're gonna do is you want to get to this position. So the switch has started to make it through the slot. The jacks are behind the wall of the case, but they're not in position just yet. And the wheel is sitting on the top edge of the case. We're not going to try and get the wheel in first time. We're going to get it to this position and then work on the wheel. So once you get it to this stage, uh, what you want to do is take your finger and thumb and grab the wheel nice and tight. And what you're doing is you're pressing the wheel against the PCB so that it stops the wheel from being moved up or down and away from the PCB. You want to keep the two together nice and tight while you work on the case. That means that the wheel can't get ripped off and you'll avoid damage that way. So just be careful. Avoid, you know, pressing these switches or, you know, damaging anything else. You just want to get your finger in the top and, and press the wheel. So while you're keeping that wheel pinched, Take your other hand and start maneuvering the case around and you'll notice it should move left and right a bit and what you want to do is bend it around the wheel and push the PCB down at the same time. So here we go, like that. And it makes a horrible crunching sound. Uh, that's just the PCB slipping past the edge of the case. You're not actually damaging anything. As long as you keep that grip on the wheel, everything's going to be good. So you're, you're actually moving the PCB while gripping it this way. And yeah, as you can see, everything is now seated nicely and the wheel is poking through the slot and the jacks have started poking through the case and the wheel moves. It's not obstructed in any way. There you go. And the switch is in position and that works as well. So there you go. That's 
That's all there is to it. You just have to do it that one way. Don't try to put it in from any other side first. Always work on this edge first, the power switch, and then sort of shift everything around while pinching the wheel and everything will be okay. And then it all goes together as usual. Uh, if you follow the rest of the installation guide, um, you'll put the top face plate on, some screws in. There's some standoffs that go here. Raspberry Pi goes on, on top of that and so on. Now, if you want to take this back out, let's say you want to change the color of the case or replace the case with a different one at a later date, it's actually a bit more difficult because you're actually pulling the PCB out of the case and the case is wanting to catch on this wheel and pull it away from the PCB, which is worse. That's exactly what we want to avoid. So again, if you want to do this, it is possible. Just take your time, grab the wheel as before, and what you want to do is work on this top edge of the case. Pull the top edge here, especially this top left corner, pull that away from the PCB while gripping the wheel. And if you're careful, it'll come out like that. And then the rest is quite straightforward. It'll just come away like that. Okay. So once again, just one more time, bottom edge in first, case goes around the three and a half millimeter jacks, slide it into that position, wheel on top, grab the wheel, in it goes. I've only done this about a hundred times. <laughs> So that's it, that's all there is to it. Just be careful and you'll be fine. Um, the rest of the installation you can read in the manual. I'll make another video probably with the full assembly, but uh, this should take care of the tricky part if you 3D print in your own case. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy your MT32Pi Zero. Cheers.